play, thou shall not kill. You don't think we community can look better for sir? We community, if we just keep the basic laws, come and talk to me. All right, come and talk to me for a minute. I want to ask you a question. If we just keep the basic laws of this way, oh, we communities ain't gonna look better. If, how is you, brother? I didn't see that you go on a nice pair of slippers, right? And I say, you know what, the, the Bible said, thou shall not steal. And I don't steal from you. Guess what? We could build. We could bring unity by keeping God's laws. Outside the God's laws, there is no unity. That's why we killing. That's why we stealing from each other. That's why men looking at other men boys and trying to do a commit adultery. Because there's no laws of God. That's why the most God controversy with Israel. Are you agree? Are you agree? But guess what? I got a question for you now, brother. What's your nationality according to your Bible? What is your nationality according to the Bible? The laws. The laws? The laws can be your nationality. The laws is very good. Everything got ordered. That's, the, that's what you're supposed to be keeping as an Israelite. But that's not your nationality. Your nationality stands from a nation. So the laws can be a nation. You understand what I mean? So then, what's your nationality according to your Bible? The question still remains. It can't be the laws, you know, establish that. Come on, talk to me. So come on, talk to me, we over here. We got nothing but time. Uh, we here, bro. That easy, Joe. Uh, well, guess what? We can have a good conversation then. All praise to the most high God. Correct. Because guess what? Right, all right, we gonna bring this here. This is the only thing that can bring honesty, morality, dignity back to the community. Because every, everybody else in the American community and shit, yeah, niggers just killing each other. It is, it is very corrupt. Correct, all right, read, all right, all right. I want you to hear that there. Read that serious scripture again. This is what our music is pushed. We listen to Skilly Ben. We listen to Skank. All them talking about is murder. Yes. So guess what? Many youth listen to that here continuously. What do you think the first thing? So if somebody do them something. What do you think will happen after that? After listening to all that corruption and our murder music. The first thing they want to do is kill. Give me that here. First Corinthians 15 verse 33. Yeah, I want, I want you to hear this here real quick. Because the Mosai already gave us instructions how to evade the things that we do in the community. Read that thing there, bro. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33. Uh -huh. Be not deceived. God said, don't be deceived. Read. Evil communication. All of that music that we, that we used to be listening to is evil communication. Let's do it. Evil communication corrupt good manners. It is corrupt good manners. So even if somebody get raised up, and mother and father tell them, don't kill. Don't, don't live that street life. Guess what? Them listening to this music, it's only a matter of time until they decide, yo, I won't be like Skin. I won't be like Swanee. I won't live that life. Correct. Correct. Right. Mm -hmm. Correct. 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 Are you agree? Murder. We gonna come out to God commandments. Those shall not kill being in this Bible. But guess what? The church is not teaching our people truth according to the Bible. The pastors say the laws done away with. So if I go to church and you telling me the laws done away with, but I ain't gonna keep those shall not kill no more. So the church fail be community. On every the, on the top of every street, you can find a Christian church. So why they got one church there? Now how one church there? Why we communities filled with so much murder then? The church is supposed to be stopping that. What happening? The church is frightened. I guess what? Hey, give me Ezekiel chapter 3. I want to give me instruction. God already said, don't fear. God said, fear not. So if the church is frightened, guess what? They're not obeying the commandments of God. Correct. Because how, how you could get a pure heart when you serving this man right here? How you could get a pure heart when you serving the devil the Bible speaks of? You got what you want, right? Ezekiel. All right, hear, hear this here real quick. Hey, my brothers and sisters, who's this man right here? Ain't no one to see, ain't no one to see here in the church. Who's he? Hey, ain't nobody want to tell me who's this man afraid of. Read that thing. I know. Read that thing there, bro. 
Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 8. Uh -huh. Behold, I have made thy face strong against your faces. You know God said he made me faces strong because guess what? The Israelite man, the so-called Bajan, when he hear the word of God, he faces get screwed. He's more intimidate the men of God. So God said he made me face strong. So we ain't running. We prepare to die for this year. Read that thing. And thy forehead strong against their forehead. As an adamant harder than flint. You know how hard adamant is? And how hard flint is? You know me and mother used to tell my mind you hate hard like flint. That's a hard stone. Read on. Have I made thy forehead? Fear them not. God say what? Fear them not. You must say God say don't fear, bruh. Read that day again, come my brother get a little distracted. Read that part again. Fear them not. God already tell me how to operate with me on these streets. God said, fear them not. We're not supposed to be moving in the spirit of fear. Second Timothy 1 and 7. Correct. But guess what? This is the God that they're pushing in their church. This is a false God. This is not the truth. What kind of Christ is according to you, boy, boy? What color is Christ according to the book? You will see that this man here bears the features of Christ according to you, boy, boy. You will see that. Uh -huh. So you see this image where exactly? You see as a young man, you see this image where? Uh -huh. So who put these images in the Bible? Well, now nah, I won't hear it obvious. You don't be afraid to say the name of your oppressor. Who? Well, who get which one? Who you mean you know which one? How you mean? Uh, so wait, you trying to tell me the, wait, the Chinese man put this image in the Bible? Huh? So wait, you trying to tell me the Chinese man put this image in the Bible? I don't know who put it in there. We can tell you who put it in there. We can tell you. Sack, you got sign? Hey, Job, yeah, Job 9.24. Read. Job chapter 9, verse 24. Uh -huh. The earth is given in to the hand of the wicked. So God said the earth, the rulership of this earth given in into the hand of the wicked. Who ruling this earth? Who got the most power? Who the world's superpower on this in this earth? Huh? The Almighty. But who else? But who? But wait, read that there again. Read that again. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. God said the earth given in to the hand. So if it given in, God must have given it into somebody. Hey, sir. Hey. Hey, good day, sir. Come and talk to me. Come and talk to you, brother. I want to talk to you about this image right here real quick. You good? Uh, who ruling? Who it? Who own the biggest businesses in Barbados? Yeah, who own the biggest businesses? Which race of people? Indians. Indians? Never. Never. All right. Who own the biggest businesses in America? No, no. Who drop a nuclear bomb on a country? You know, uh, uh, that, that's it right there. You are afraid to see it. The so called white man is your oppressor. You're afraid to see it. I'm not afraid to see it. That's God. So, what you don't want to say that? This man. Alright, give me. Alright, right, cool. Alright, uh, you know what? I agree with that. Second Mark could be straight for the Let me get it from the Bible. Go to the earth given into the hand of the wicked. This is the wicked. This is the man. When he began to reign, when he began to reign, evil multiplied in the earth. That now you got who pushing the sod the sodomy agenda? That a man could be a homosexual and you can't say anything about it. Who pushing that? Who pushing them laws? The so-called white man is who pushing them laws. Cause you can't go to Arabia and and, and talk use no homosexual. Them men ain't having that. Read that thing, bro. First Maccabees, shut up. Three, verse 48, uh -huh. and laid open the book of the law. God said that the so-called white man laid open the book of the law. The book of the law is the Bible. And that's where you say you images, the images of the Bible portray everybody as white. God as white, the angels as white, everybody as white. So the so-called white man opened the book of the Bible. Correct. Correct. But let me get it for the word of God. Read on. Wherein the heathen, the whom? The heathen. The heathen is the so-called white man. Every other nation outside of us, 
the Israelites are heathens. Read on. Wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. They sought to paint the likeness of their images. Because them images like ours. But check this sign right here. Who painted these signs right here? Who painted Christ as a, as a Caucasian? What Caucasian men? So this is the truth according to the Bible, but this is the proof. It's called this here iconoclasm, right? Iconoclasm. Where they attack the black images? He does. Wait, wait, wait. Say that again. Oh, you say that again. The white man got the earth corrupt. The white man has the earth corrupt. Give it out here first, man. Give that one first, man. That's the first. Starting from slavery. Correct. Because he's the man that do a rape you fathers, he rape you mothers, he had, if you children they picking, correct, he rape everybody, pay you nothing for 24 hour labor. That's hard labor. Hard, You got to tell him that for he all want to back up, he got hard to Dang, correct. So then, so how could you friend do that there to you? If he's all warm people, why would you friend do that evil and wickedness to you, bro? Which one is the image you know to be Christ? Okay, okay, okay. Ask a question. Yeah, daddy. Wait, which one of these is Christ? You got art? Yes, well, we know art. It's image indoctrinating us. This can beat in us. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. is you.